Hey guys, Hybrid Fishy here, and today we have this wonderful Willy's Jeep mod. Um, it's kind of a crawler sort of design. Um, it seems to be what it's mostly geared and tuned for, but generally I'd say you can use it for exploration. Um, it's oh jeez, <laughs> it's another great mod made by Spun or Sid, um, and I really do enjoy most of the mods that he makes. I think he does a really good job on them. Um, and this one is certainly no exception. Um, his gearings are always done in such a way that low is your crawling gear, it'll pull you out of anything, um, and high is your general off-roading. You're not going too quick, but you're going fast enough you actually get somewhere. Um, so as you can see, it has no problem with deep mud whatsoever, even with all-wheel drive off, it'll still pull its way through it. Well, he says, and gets stuck. Um, it's got really good ground clearance, you'll hardly ever find yourself getting snagged, apart from the differentials, but they seem to phase through most things, so that should be alright. Um, the wheels are nice and chunky, uh, you can see the tread in the back one there, that's the size and the sort of proportions that you're looking at, and they do have a lot of grip, they're very good at going through deep mud, so it's a definite plus. There's no add-ons though, uh, but I don't think you need them. It can take 600 damage and holds 500 litres of fuel, so you are certainly well catered for. Now, when it comes to general sort of track performance, like you're going around on these bigger tracks, um, automatic again with said trucks. Normally, automatic is a difficult gear to use simply because the truck sticks in a gear and takes forever to get out and move into its next gears, but in this one it is very happy to get up and into its faster gears, but it's a little bit uncontrollable at high speed. As you can see, it weaves around a lot, its slightest bump throws it off, so you really got to catch it before it goes, which is really difficult, so I would recommend put it in high, which it can just go as it feels like. Um, it's a really nice looking mod, I do like this, it's an adorably small kind of thing, um, but the wheels are just excessive for its size, and I really like how that looks. Um, and you can see that water doesn't phase it, it can just sink into it and no problem whatsoever with that. Uh, so we'll do a proper test in this deeper stuff here, see how that fares. I'm thinking with these tires it will have no problem. Um, yeah, you, you get the water level warning if it goes up and over the, the bonnet there. But other than that, oh, go with the diff. Other than that you shouldn't need to worry about it. This was again thrown. There we go. So naturally, as with the final test, we have the hill. Um, which, strangely enough, this is not the hill map. Um, I would expect this to do quite well. The high ratio is really powerful, and it's not a very heavy truck. So I think it's just gonna power straight up this hill. Obviously, I need to get depth lock on once I get to about here, but it should be more than happy. Just yeah, that's just gonna go straight up. So, because we've flown through this test pretty quickly, I'm probably going to take this around and show you a bit more of its crawling capabilities. Because um, you saw there, it just moored up that hill. There was no problems whatsoever. It's a bit of a mountain goat, this thing. Um, one thing I really like is you can use the high ratio gear as in how you feel like. Um, obviously, if you bog down, you're going to need to go on a low, but you can use the high ratio gear, like with the rest of Sid's trucks, as just a regular going around on dirt tracks and general off-roading kind of gear. Um, although, as I have learnt, I am not going into high ratio going down this hill because I like my trucks to survive. Um, it barely uses any fuel as well, so it's a really good plus. This is great for exploration. I think what we'll do, because if it's really good sort of crawling capabilities, we'll try and take it up that waterfall. I think that would be a good test for it. Um, and we'll probably leave it in low all-wheel drive differential for that. Um, the only problem I think we might have is if the nose goes too far under and the truck starts to drown. Because you can see it does have a bit of a water level issue with the front of the truck. The back of the truck doesn't matter, you can submerge that as much as you want. Like, you can see that the passengers are drowning, but the front doesn't mind because the bonnet's not covered. 
one is covered. And I don't think we're going that way. Ooh, yeah, you can see the front goes under, it starts to drain. So that's... I think if you look at that little air intake thing at the side there, that's your marker for how deep this can go. Which is pretty substantial looking at the size of the wheels as well. And I may have chosen a terrible way to try and get this up here. Come on. The lights are pretty impressive. It's got like the Jeep YJ, a big light bar across the top. Uh, this is very similar to the Jeep YJ, I have to say. Uh, well, the same brand, so I suppose you can expect that. Ooh, are we stuck? <laughs> if we are stuck, then you won't be saying this. If we get stuck, then oh well. Oh, one thing you might need to be careful of with this truck is getting trees caught between the wheels at strained angles, because they're so high off the ground, so far away from the truck, and so far apart. I think that could be a problem. Right, now we're around that big rocky bit at the bottom because that's got huge boulders in it. And I think that's what got this bogged down. We'll see how it fares through the water. I think the current will be the only thing because this is really light. I think that current will affect it. Um, it just won't have the power to push against it. But, no, oh, having said that, it's fully submerged. Right. Okay. Maybe not fully. I'll try and put it off the side. Push these boulders out the way. Oh, maybe not. I'll put it back on the high ground and I think we'll call it that. So this has been the Wiley's or Willy's Jeep, however you want to pronounce that. I'm going to get mocked for how I've done it. Um, uh, it's a mod by Sid. I'll have the link in the description for you. Um, yeah, it's a fantastic little exploration truck. Pull itself out of anything unless it's really deep water. It seems to struggle with that. And um, so thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you enjoyed this, please like and subscribe. Helps me out, um, and you get to see more fantastic content being put up twice every day. Well, thanks again, and I shall see you in the next one.